हेलो फॉर मै एस्पिरेंट्स वेलकम टू जी डीसी आनल क्लास इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्क अबउट चिलेटिंग एजेंट्स ए मिसलेन टापिक इन द फार्मकालजी ए मिसलेन टापिक इन द फार्मकालजी सो लेट सी इन डीटेल आफ् दिस चिलेटिंग एजेंट्स ओके सो लेट कंटिव द डिस्कशन इंट्रडक्शन सो वेट ई विलेक्ट द स्क to get into more clarity chelating agents combine with metallic ions form ring structures that are water soluble complexes rapidly excreted from the body mostly through the urine so chelating agents nothing but they combine with metal ions especially used in case of metal poisonings like organic metal poisoning also so here these forms a complex with metallic ions that leads to ring structures that are water soluble complexes rapidly excrete from the body these agents are used in heavy metal poisoning example like dimer caprol disodium editate disodium editate so what are the ideal properties of an chelating agents what are the ideal properties of an chelating agents the ideal properties of chelating agents like a highly water soluble neither metabolized nor stored in the body be readily excreted in urine have low affinity for the calcium low affinity for the calcium so it should be water soluble neither metabolized nor stored in the body be readily excreted through urine because the formed chelate complex is water soluble having low affinity for the calcium so these are the the ideal properties should be possessed by chelating agents next here some of the examples and used in their poisoning so here it is a dimer caprol also known as bal british anti lucid so this british anti lucid or dimer caprol is a antidote in poisoning of lead mercury arsenic are am nothing but gold and uh, but it is not used in case of iron as well as cadmium poisoning so not for iron as well as cadmium poisoning next dpta diethylene triamine pentaacetic acid dpta diethylene triamine pentaacetic acid as a antidote in poisoning of uranium as well as plutonium uranium as well as plutonium next calcium disodium comma ethylene diamino tetraacetic acid edta as a antidote for poisoning of lead mercury zinc cadmium iron manganese next d penicillamine a by product of basic hydrolysis of penicillin g a antibiotic inhibit cell wall synthesis in bacterium this d penicillamine is for as a antidote for poisoning of lead mercury copper and also cystinuria and also scleroderma but it is majorly for treatment of wilson's disease and unithiol for antidote for poisoning of lead mercury arsenic next deferoxamine as a antidote for the overdose of iron poisoning deferi prone defirasirox also antidote for overdose of iron poisoning succimer antidote for overdose of lead mercury arsenic cadmium dicobalt edta antidote for cyanide poisoning triantine triantine is an antidote for the poisoning of copper antidote for poisoning of copper try and try so this is about simply the list of drugs and used in the treatment of metal poisoning used in the treatment of different types of metal poisoning so this is very very important table and definitely on this table you will get a question in the competitive exams it may be gpat niper drug inspector or any other pharma competitive exams <laughs> sorry okay so going for further continuation next we will talk about some individual 
antidotes in detail first dimer caprol dimer caprol also known as british anti lubicit that is ball so it is an oily pungent smelling viscous liquid developed during world war 2 by britishers as an antidote to the arsenal war gas lubricant and it is used for uh, antidote for poisoning of arsenic mercury aram nothing but gold bismuth nickel sp poisoning nickel as well as a uh, sp poisoning okay so i hope you do you know you know already that sb nothing but uh, antimony sb nothing but uh, antimony so in arsenic poisoning dimer caprol is injected intramuscularly to act as antidote by forming the metal complex antidote by forming the metal complex next dimer capto succinic acid nothing but succimer dimer capto succinic acid nothing but succimer similar to dimer caprol in chelating properties water soluble less toxic and orally effective also and orally effective also its efficacy its efficacy has been demonstrated in arsenic mercury lead poisoning lead poisoning but it may also chelate some essential metals like copper as well as zinc copper as well as zinc so that is simply about the the succimer chemically the name is dimercapto succinic acid next disodium edta next is disodium edta it is disodium salt of ethylene diamine tetraestic acid potent chelator of calcium it is acts as antidote in lead poisoning by solubilizing the toxic metal ion from tissues by solubilizing the toxic metal ion from the tissues <coughs> next calcium disodium editate calcium disodium editate regarding calcium disodium editate higher affinity for metals like lead zinc cadmium manganese copper and some radioactive metals also used for lead poisoning also used in iron zinc copper manganese and as a radioactive metal also not used in the mercury poisoning because mercury is more firmly bound to body constituents so calcium disodium editate is a not drug of choice for treatment of mercury poisoning mercury metal poisoning next penicillin penicillin is a basic hydrolytic product of penicillin g a natural antibiotic inhibit cell wall senses in bacterium so penicillin mainly for treatment of wilson's disease a hepatolenticular degeneration damage of hepatic cells liver cells due to excess accumulation of copper in liver not only liver also accumulated in brain as well as eyes and other body parts and penicillin also for treatment of cystinuria scleroderma it is also used in cystinuria as well as scleroderma <coughs> so here the important point you have to remember is apart from using in the metal poisoning here this penicillin also for cystinuria what is cystinuria formation of kidney stones formation of stones in the kidney from the amino acid cystin so formation of stones in the kidney not only in the kidney other parts of the kidney from the amino acid cystin and also in scleroderma what is scleroderma scleroderma is inflammation comma fibrosis it is inflammation or fibrosis of the skin or other body parts of the skin also so scleroderma nothing but inflammation as well as thickening nothing but fibrosis of the skin a type of autoimmune disease a type of autoimmune disease and uh, this penicillin as a supportive adjuvant agent in calcium sodium calcium disodium edta in lead poisoning and to ball in mercury poisoning 
so penicillamine as a supportive agent along with uh, disodium calcium EDTA in lead poisoning and also along with ball dimercaprol in mercury poisoning penicillamine is a drug of choice for copper poisoning which is named as Wilson's disease Wilson's disease next desferioxamine the ferioxamine obtained from actinomycetes long chain iron poisoning containing complex the chemical removal of iron from the ferioxamine yields desferioxamine it has very high affinity for the iron it causes release of histamine fallen blood pressure flushing itching urticaria rashes so rashes urticaria itching all this comes under like allergic reactions a rashes sorry simply itching reactions flushing redness of skin due to excess blood flow fallen blood pressure causes release of histamine causes release of histamine next desferioxamine desferioxamine is given only by parental road it is a drug of choice for acute iron poisoning it is a drug of choice for acute iron poisoning and uh, this desferoxamine may produce hypovolemic shock decreased blood volume due to histamine release so desferoxamine may release a histamine that histamine may decrease the blood pressure or blood volume leads to hypovolemic shock hypovolemia decreased blood volume decreased blood volume okay next deferi prone next is deferi prone so it is an orally active iron chelator excessive hemolysis occur in the patient so because of this excess hemolysis breakdown of blood cells they have to be given repeated blood transfusion so they have to go for repeated blood transfusion deferi prone may also used for acute iron poisoning but less effective compared to desferioxamine facilitating removal of iron load in the hepatic cirrhosis a another indication so the another application of deferi prone deferi prone not only for antidote for iron poisoning but it is also removes excess iron load from the liver in hepatic cirrhosis in hepatic cirrhosis okay so what is hepatic cirrhosis simply so hepatic cirrhosis nothing but formation of scars in the liver when liver gets severely inflamed severely damaged there is a formation of scars that tissue become hard that tissue become hard so like uh, if you have any injury on the skin for example if you fall down so there is a damage to skin or anywhere part of the body so slowly that part become hard fibrotic tissue fibrotic tissue so this is simply about the chelating agent so these are like topics are miscellaneous topics so there is a no basics as well as concept simply what are the chelating agents what are the examples what are their applications what are their applications so like this interesting videos you can also go to youtube channel and subscribe to gdc english class youtube channel and you know gdc started english classes for you especially south india region students in the english language anyway so if you have any doubts you can contact us and this is our session on the chelating agents thank you